When you link to a fixed width text file, Access creates a new table known as linked table. The linked table shows the data from the source file, but it does not actually store the data in the database. In a fixed width file, each record appears on a separate line and the width of each field remains consistent across records. You can see the example text file. Joining date fields data type is date with time. You can see text in joining date field in 15th row. Let us see how access handles invalid data. Close the text file. On the external data tab in the import and link group, click on new data source. Select from file and then text file from the shortcut menu. The get external data text file wizard is displayed. In the file name text box, type the name of the source text file or click on browse to display the file open dialog box. Browse to the location and select the source text file. Click on open. Select link to the data source by creating a linked table. Click on OK. The link text wizard starts and leads you through the import process. Select fixed width and click on next. If access detects a column structure in the data, it places vertical lines in the data to separate the fields. Access guesses the best breaks to use for fields based on the most consistent spacing across rows. Review the structure suggested by wizard and if necessary, follow the instructions on the wizard page to add, remove or adjust the lines. Click on the line and move left or right to change the width of fields in the file. To create a break line, click at the desired location Double click on the line to delete the line. Click on next. You can review the field properties and make changes. Click on a column in the lower half of the page to display the corresponding fields properties. Enter the field name and data type of the destination field. Indexed is disabled. To completely skip a source column, select the Do Not Import Field checkbox. Click on Advanced button to launch the Link Specification dialog box. Notice that all the choices you made until now have been selected here. Review them and make changes if needed. You can select how date, time and number fields are formatted. You can save these specs for future use by clicking on Save As. Click on Specs. Import Export Specifications dialog box opens. A list of saved specifications are displayed. If you have a previous specification you want to use, click on Open to use it. Otherwise click on Cancel. Click on OK to apply all the changes. Click on Next after you finish selecting options. Specify a name for the destination table. Click on Finish. Access attempts to create the link table. If the table is successfully created, Access displays the message Finished Linking Table. Access created the link table. In the navigation pane, the link table is shown with an arrow and a table icon. Move the cursor onto the link table name to see the source database. Open the link table in datasheet view to ensure that the data looks correct. You can see joining date field value in 15th record displays pound num error because there was invalid data in text file. Any changes that you make to the source file are automatically reflected in the link table. Open the text file. Fix the error by adding 04102000 in the joining date field. Save the file. Go back to the link table. 
see how that is reflected in the link table. However, the contents and structure of a link table in Access are read-only. If you try to change the data, Access displays an error. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.